Hello everyone. In this video of session 4, we will discuss cell referencing and its type. So, cell referencing is a term used with the behavior of cell address in the formula when they are copied from one cell to the other. All the formula will be visible in the formula bar and the cell will have the result. The three types of cell referencing that Excel sports are relative, absolute and mixed referencing. Let's start with relative referencing. Relative referencing is when the formula in the copied cell changes according to or relative to the change in the position of the cell pointer. For example, if the formula in B2 is is equal to A2 multiplied by 2. When the formula is copied vertically, notice that the cell address in the formula is automatically changed to A3 and A4. As the formula is copied to B3 and B4. This means that if you copy the formula across rows or down columns, the reference automatically adjusts. By default, new formula uses relative referencing. Next is absolute referencing. An absolute reference is specified by using the dollar sign along with the column and the row number in the cell. Using dollar means fixed to a specific location. If the position of the cell that contain the formula changes, the absolute reference remains unchanged. This means that if you copy the formula across rows or down column, the absolute reference does not adjust according to the pointer position. In the example, you can see that B2 has the formula that is dollar a dollar 2 and when it is copied to the lower rows there is no change in the formula this means that column is fixed at a and row is fixed at 2 in all the formula The last one is mixed referencing. As you know, every cell address has a column part and a row part. It is absolute when both are fixed. Mixed referencing is when one part of the cell address is relative and the other is absolute. It means that either column or the row number should have a dollar along it. For example, dollar $A2 means that the column number is fixed to A. No matter where the formula is copied, but the row number is relative and will change and adjust according to the current position of formula. If you copy dollar $A2 vertically to lower rows, it will become dollar a3 and dollar a4 the formula in b2 has been set as dollar a2 into 5 and then copied to row number 3 and 4 there is no change in the column name as it is absolute and the row numbers have been adjusted according to the change in rows because this part is relative. Thank you for watching this video. We will start basic calculations entering formula for addition in our next session.